Hello, it's from uh, Expert Automation. Today I'm going to show you how to do API testing with uh, Python. Okay. Um, first of all, why Python? Uh, uh, Python has a data structure called dictionary, uh, which will be very useful in passing, especially the space day um, API responses. Okay. First thing you need is uh, you need to have Python in your system. Second, uh, uh, you will need a module called uh, requests to be installed uh, with, um, along with Python. Okay. Uh, uh, the sample API I will be using here is uh, request.in. This is the this is the website here. They have some sample APIs. Okay. Today I'm going to just show you how to hit uh, hit the API and get a simple response. Okay. Uh, let's start coding. Uh, first of all, I'm going to import request then i'm going to import uh, json this is just for uh, doing a pretty print of your uh, json uh, response basically uh, these are the two libraries uh, modules that i will be using as you can see i'm using uh, uh, intellij pycharm editor you can use any editor of your choice okay uh, let's start with the simple get response how to do a simple get request to an API okay first of all I'm going to define a base URL uh, uh, variable here so that I don't have to type it type the base URL over and over again whenever I'm, I'm trying to uh, hit a URI okay base URL will be this thing HTTPS request dot in just going to paste it Okay, let me just remove this slash uh, forward slash this last forward slash okay next I'm going to just say request dot get so it should be request dot get now have three uh, two parameters here yeah, URL params and some keywords we can just pass uh, URL for now uh, I'm going to say base URL plus Let's see here we have an example of uh, a request and response what is the, how the request should look like and uh, this should supposed to be the response okay I'm just going to copy this and paste it right here okay once I do that this should give me the response let me just show it in a variable called response here response okay um, this Let's just try to print this and see what is the output. Let's pause. Okay. Let me just run this. I'm going to run simple. As soon as you can see, this says response 200. Uh, this just gives you the status of the response. If you want the content of the just response, you should probably do response dot JSON. This will give you the JSON content okay let's just try to print uh, just this part now okay i'm going to run this file let's see the output okay as you can see json got printed out here but again it's still it's this uh, format is not you know not that user friendly or readable i would say so if you want a good uh, nice looking json response on your console we can use make use of uh, JSON module that I have imported here. Okay, I'm going to say print JSON dot dumps. Yeah, I'm going to pass response dot JSON here. I'm going to pass one more uh, parameter called indent. This will give you nice, uh, actually better looking output just in case if you want to visualize your output this is okay I'm going to just run this file let's see the output yeah as you can see the output is much more better now yeah this is a, just a simple example of uh, just hitting the API and getting the response this, this is the end of video one thank you for watching